Kevin, and uh, it's a Saturday, 29 December, I believe. Uh, so it's almost the end of the new year, uh, the end of the 2018. And we're on the new Lonny Road with Bukit Brown just underneath us. So this Lonny Road uh, cuts across the houses and the cemetery. Um, on the, old, the old one is still there. I think they're going to decommission it soon. Take a look. So Ronnie and I are going to see if it uh, does connect back to McRitchie Reservoir area and if it does then there's a the new uh, easy path. It's pretty guarded. See there's the rails here so it's pretty safe. Unlike previous lawn, if you fall onto the road I think it's game over. The new Lawny road links up with the old Lawny road and in front of us is uh, the Braddle Bishan area so this is the diversion where you can either go straight or take the underpass if you're driving. But the problem is that if you're cycling, you'll be coming down this path, up Lorne, and then you'll be kind of stuck here. And you notice that this is terrible because if you're a cyclist, not only do you have to cross the road, there's a barrier on the other side of the road. So this isn't very friendly for both pedestrians and cyclists. So you're pretty much screwed unless you can move really fast which I'm going to have to attempt to do. All right, so let's, let's go. Oh, so Kalang Park Connected Network or PCN and uh, while we're doing this we're hoping to see if there has been any improvement made, made by uh, uh, to improve the connection because this path actually goes through uh, several expressways and in the past we used to have to cycle hit the expressway and then go on an overhead bridge and uh, some of these bridges aren't exactly easy when you have a pretty heavy bike so I've seen some cases where they build underpasses or actually build overheads with uh, bike uh, bridges to get across easily. So we'll see, just hoping for the best. Great, uh, we are along, where is this now? This is Braddo. Uh, near Bartley. And they built a bike bridge uh, or ramp. So it makes it easier for us to start to carry the bikes over. So this is a new addition. Haven't done this in at least half a year. Uh, so this is nice. This first of many uh, expressways we have to cross over as we head uh, southward from the middle of Singapore. You actually see the part of the Bishan Park that uh, looks to appear to be extending outwards to this way. The success of uh, Bishan Park has uh, encouraged the government, I guess, to extend the park through all these hard wall vertical canals, turning them into much more uh, pleasant parks for animals and humans alike. So, uh, 
this another expressway, you can see that there's a bridge with a bike path there, or at least a bike bridge. And now there's an underpass as well. Uh, I think this has been here for a while, but it's just nice to know. So just now you saw the vertical wall uh, canals and just like Bishan Park, this part, this part has changed uh, to add more flora and fauna and having this graduation into the water helps because then you have uh, animals and insects all doing better like, uh, like the otters for instance. So it also makes the place more habitable for residents. expressway and we'll see if this bridge overhead crossing is easier if not generally there's another way which is to go further down and take the traffic light crossing but if not mistaken some of these crossings can be quite complex meaning you have to cross more than once it's like uh, this expressway uh, they haven't really solved it it's uh, it's still a very pedestrian like uh, crossing for the bikes uh, we'll see how we get across I cross by the light instead just uh, to Leche to do the bridge what? I'm doing narration so this uh, oh. the HTC read so I'm just saying this, which, which expressway is this sir? do you know? yeah PIE PIE so the PIE one has is the only one right now where to cross over. I think they thought on it's just all on the road or underpasses. But this one has several crossings, right? So there's one, two, three, four over there. Just to get across. It was down. And then when we crossed, we realized that it looks like a truck or bus or something might have hit the light down over there and the, this part of the grid went down. But as Jensen just mentioned, there's some guy actually helping to fix the system right over there. And that's pretty quick response time. Also, there's no accident so far, so everyone's been self-organized. This is a very complex junction. We had to cross like at least uh, four or five times just to make it on this side just to show the complexity of this uh, traffic light setup. Okay, we'll carry on this way uh, to Kalang. Along Bandemir, and uh, this is one of the beautiful canals that have been set up, heading towards Kalang. Uh, we just passed uh, the PIE and a complex traffic light system. Uh, the overhead bridge had no uh, bike ramp, so we decided to use the traffic lights instead. And here's a pretty uh, pleasant place. So we are also mindful of pedestrians here, so we don't ride too fast. Being a cyclist in Singapore, where it's so dense and all that, people, uh, we have to practice discretion. Even though the signs tend to be very conservative, tell us to often uh, dismount our bikes, push, this and that. Uh, it, that's very impractical. So the whole idea is just be considerate. Don't raise alarm bells and all that stuff.
Hotel with a small side bike ramp. Hopefully they do something about this. It's not hot, it's cool. Yeah, nice breeze. Very nice day. <laughs> so, one more crossing here, above ground. Oh, this block, I've seen it, but maybe now it's more populated. And they really made this whole canal site very nice with a nice ramp there. And uh, built all these uh, lookout points and all that. It's very nice, the way they greenify this whole thing. And we're very near Kalang MRT, really. we're just alongside it. So we're very near Sports Hub and then near East Coast Park, technically. So from uh, Kalang PCN, we're gone past Sports Hub and uh, now we're pass passing uh, Indoor Stadium and we're on the way to Tanjong Ru to get to uh, Gardens by the Bay. We're going to try and see if you can spot some otters. Quietly happening, I guess. Uh, when I buy a coffee joint, just hang out for a bit. So there's no live market, which is nice and quiet, pretty good food, and then the rest of it are houses where they've got hipster cafes and all that. All that stuff.
going to Hong Kong, which is uh, near Chinatown, Pearl's Hill Road. A very good bike shop. Very good service. by the bike mechanic and his gearing system is also very unique. So he's using a Logitech uh, Wingman Formula uh, controller as a steering wheel for his bike. And notice where he puts his uh, pedal also in the front to control the brake. Very unique setup with lightweight saving elements drilled all over the bike frame to save weight. Very special bike. Just finished brunch at uh, Tolo Aya area and we've made our way back. Uh, we passed Robertson Key and now uh, we're heading westward to Holland Village. Uh, I'll peel out halfway to where I stay around the um, And yeah, today's been very pleasant. No sun, uh, cloudy. Pretty nice. Pretty nice way to end uh, 2018. Hopefully I get to do more bike rides uh, in 2019, so we'll see. Okay, signing off.